Hello, welcome back. Um, today, I figured, you know what, not everybody has a computer, and I know that. So today, I decided, let's figure out how to make sprites on the iPad, or on the phone. So that's what I'm doing today. My, um, screen mirroring program isn't the best, it's free, but it gets the point done. It gets the point across. And now, disclaimer, while you can do most of this, like, on the phone or on the iPad, you will need to have somebody you know that has a computer and is willing to download this little, um, sprite sheet generator. Uh, it's not the most convenient way. If you know a better way on the phone to, to do that, let me know. Because that's not what I do primarily, but... Yeah. Okay, so first off, you're gonna wanna go find like boyfriend FNF or girlfriend FNF or both and download that, um, the images so you have them. I already have them downloaded because I like to have them on hand. So I'm just gonna take those, create a new canvas with them. This, the program you use at this phase doesn't matter as long as it has layers and you can export it as transparent stuff. So you want to do that and you just want to draw or sketch out whatever you want your sprite to be. got that all sketched out. Got what you want. I'm just doing this little thing so it's easier. Um, once you do that, you're gonna want <clears throat> lower the opacity of your sketch. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm like kind of sick right now. <laughs> and you usually, Friday Night Funkin' Sprites are made with a seven pixel pen. I usually just use the normal G pen. It's just easiest for me. But you can use something else if it's more comfortable for you. And you're gonna want to go through. And you're not gonna want to outline every single thing. You're gonna wanna make sure you have different layers for each body part. So like I'm gonna have a layer for the body, I'm gonna have a layer for the visor, a layer for the hand, a layer for the other hand, and a layer for the bow. And you're just going to want to go through and line those all, draw them, etc. Okay, hey, this is V, realizing that I very messed up on the footage, but everything I'm saying is still true. <laughs> And make sure where they overlap, you don't just end it right here. You keep going and make sure to draw the whole object. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you still want to make sure you have the whole object drawn behind it or whatever. And, okay. So I'm not really sure what entirely happened with that last recording, but Hopefully this one doesn't mess up like that too. So now what you're gonna, gonna wanna do is start coloring your things. Just color it however you think you'd need to. Um, yeah. <laughs> There's lots of hue shifting in Friday Night Funkin' art styles slash sprites, by the way, so be sure to be very aware of that when you're drawing and such. Okay. 
Okay, you got everything colored now. Color to your liking. All pretty, all nice. And now you just want to merge your line art layers with your color layers just for organization's sake. And then you want to go through and make sure your background is transparent or you're exporting a transparent to PNG on whatever program you're using. And just, you know, export it. Make sure it's all good. Yeah, I export each layer individually, that is. Yeah. <laughs> So, first off, we have Procreate. Um, so first, you're gonna wanna go to Photos, and you're going to want to export, import <laughs> your bottom, like the bottommost asset. And then one by one, you're gonna, go, you're gonna wanna go through, and if you do this right, it should all go in the right spots. Ta-da! And you're probably wondering, oh well, whenever you turn- okay, first you have to turn on animation assist. But then you're probably wondering, oh, that's not supposed to happen. No, it's not. So you have to go to your layers and you have to swipe right on all of your layers and hit group. And then there you go, it's one frame instead of just a bunch of separate ones. So what you're gonna do, duplicate that first layer a couple times and just make sure you have a spare. And you're gonna wanna use the transform tool to just smush and you want the smushed frame to be your first frame actually so like it'll bounce whenever it's done <laughs> make sure down here and just kind of kind of wing it that's what I usually do there's no like right way to do this really I mean, there is, but there's like no formula. You get me? <laughs> yeah. Now this, you got a little bounce, you got your keyframes. Look at you go. And, ooh, this is a headache. This is why I don't do mobile sprites, because I have Adobe. Um. Next, you're just gonna want to duplicate this frame again. And actually, no. Duplicate your very first frame, the squished one. Nope. There you go, there's the squished one. And just squish it a little bit more. Give it a little bit of follow through. I kind of need to know animation principles for this, which sucks. So good luck to you beginning animators. I can't teach you that. Now it looks- <laughs> we're getting somewhere! We're getting somewhere! It's- it's- <laughs> Now you notice it's a little jerky. We're, <laughs> we're getting somewhere with it at least. And usually you'll have like four frames for an idol. I have an extra one because I like to make the head slash visor in this case move a little bit extra. So you're gonna wanna squish this one just a tiny bit. This is a duplicated version of your original image by the way. <laughs> and I'm gonna hold this for so many frames. And also, I forgot. I'm gonna put this on 12 FPS, because that's technically what Friday Night Funkin' sprites are on. So you see, it's going somewhere. It's going somewhere. 
Oh, we're getting somewhere. <laughs> um, I'm gonna turn that down a couple of frames. your animation it doesn't play as great on the screen share thing but trust me it's good <laughs> I might actually screen record it so you guys can see it a little bit better so now once you have all of that done you are going to go to sh click on this little wrench icon go to share and go to PNG files Wait. Okay, first, you're gonna want to scale down the size of your canvas by going on this little wrench icon again. No. And going to crop and resize and just shrinking it to closer to the size of your sprite so it doesn't take up a honking amount of your storage. So now you go to the little wrench icon, share, and then go to PNG files and save them all. And there you go. There's that. And so um, there's already a tutorial on this very last part. It's um, li actually linked in, hang on. Let me pull it up actually. It'll be in, here's the, um, XML sprite sheet generator and the tutorial is on the page and I will link this in the description and yeah that's basically it that's basically it and yeah I hope this helped a little bit I'm sorry I'm a bit scattered I don't feel great today um yeah subscribe if you want to I guess <laughs> bye bye